Hi, in this video of Gim Beginner's Guide, I'm going to talk about the healing tool. Now, first thing, the options here, I already covered them in previous videos in the different paint tools. So if you're new to this, go watch those videos to get familiar with these options. I'm going to talk about the difference between the clone tool and the healing tool. Now let's select the clone tool and the control click, let's say here, select the source. And now let's say this is my destination. I want to fill this hole. If I click here, you see how I am transferring the data from this area to this area here, the destination. And the way I control the blending between the new data and the old is by selecting a brush opacity or scale and other options here. Now with the heal tool here, if I select a source and then click on the destination, you see how much mm, less difference this makes. This is because it's blending the data from the source and the data around the destination and it's producing the result. And here I have a very big object that I want to remove and when I click on that, let's see, you see how small differences I'm making and filling this hole with this tool will be very difficult and the results won't be that good. Let's just undo all that. Select the clone tool, control click, and you see how fast I am making progress with the clone tool. So you might want to switch between these two tools to achieve the results you want. This healing tool is best used with small objects, for example, on a skin like an acne or some wrinkles or just some small object that you want to remove. But uh, basically this tool is the better tool because it's mixing data from the source and data from the destination and this creates much better blending results and uh, the image looks like it's not being uh, edited. So it, depending on the situation, you might want to think about which tool you want to choose to work with. That's it for now. Bye.